Hello everyone, I'm your host Mark Anthony Mate, and welcome to yet another episode of the Gentleman's Club. In this episode, I'm getting ready to do a shave. I just decided on a whim, you know, spur the moment that I was going to do this because it's been a long spell since I did the last shaving video. Uh, I want to tell you guys something real quick. Let me look at the camera real quick. You see I have this thing on my lip. Just ignore that. I got a busted lip. No, I wasn't fighting with anybody. It was a complete accident, but that did just happen about uh, two days ago. Just ignore it. Anyways, let's get on with it. Um, I'm going to go get a haircut later today in about two hours from now. But before I do that, I wanted to give myself a shave. I would rather I give myself a shave than have the barber do it for me for two reasons because I decided that I'm going to cut off the goatee in its entirety so it's no reason him even trimming this up at all so with that said I wanted to use this blade to take all of this off and I decided to document it by doing this video second reason I'm doing this video the second excuse that I have to do it is that I have this brand new aftershave lotion from Aveeno this is called the Vino Active Naturals Men's Aftershave Lotion. So this stuff is supposed to be all natural components inside of here. Uh, Goodguide.com gave this at one point in time their top marks for being the absolute best aftershave available on the market. So I'm about to use it for the first time today. I ordered it from the States, had it delivered to me in Japan. Took about three weeks to get here from Amazon.com, but I'm looking forward to using that. Alright, so you're going to watch me cut off the beard, or the goatee rather, in its entirety, plus use this new aftershave, and I'll tell you guys what that's like. First thing I'm going to do here is lather up my soap. Now this is by Special Soap, the Gentleman's Club Shaving Soap. I'm going to use this today. I don't want to rush this video too quick and cut myself, but yeah, there is a time limit. I gotta get out of here in two hours and um, I'm gonna shower after this shave and uh, I have an appointment with this barber it's not just a place that you just walk in at it's just one guy owns this this shop really nice one in Harajuku Shibuya Arguably one of the best barbers, at least for uh, for colored people like me in Japan. For colored people, he is the best barber in Japan. Best barber? Mm. Don't know about the best barber, but definitely for colored people, yes. It's obvious I have a different type of hair texture from everybody else, and he's good at handling that. I'll have to get a video at his joint going on at some point soon so that you guys can see what that's like. Really clean place. Super trendy as well. The, the area that he's at, high end man, it's top end. He's situated between Shibuya Station and Harajuku Station. And if anybody, that's anybody that knows anything about Japan or Tokyo, these are the two trendiest spots in the whole country. He's slap dead in the middle of both of them. Yeah, let's really rub that in there thick. Now before I started shaving, I used some of my um, pre-shave lotion, some cheap pre-shave lotion on my face and I wash my face with some warm water to help loosen up everything. Alright, let's get this going. You guys are going to see me checking over here from time to time. I got a mirror over here. It's a lot easier for me to look at that than it is for me to look at the screen there. but I should try to use the screen as much as possible.
the test see how easy it is to take off all that hair look at that looks like this is going to be a cinch Absolutely cannot do that with a cartridge razor at all. What you would have to do is use some uh, some hair clippers first and get that down as short as you possibly can, and then start then start cutting it with this shavette or a straight razor. Don't matter how thick or how long the hair is, you just cut it all off immediately. You don't want to see this water bucket that I'm using. Looks disgusting all this hair floating around, but man is it coming off. Why did I decide to cut this goatee off? I think I just wanted to go into work with a little bit of a cleaner look than I usually do. The goatee looks very manly, but at the same time, it kind of has that dirty look to it at the same time. It might be appealing to some people, but it might not be appealing to a lot of people as well. Let me go ahead and get the left side of my face real quick and then I'm going to reapply the shaving soap. Alright, it's getting a bit dry. And I already did my first pass, so now it's time to re-put this stuff back on again. kind of pasty but it's moist depends on how moist you want it you can just add a little bit of water to the edges fix that right up you know what I'm at a loss of time so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to do a two pass system instead of three. This time I'm going to go against the grain.
I hate when my handle gets a little bit moist. It's kind of rubbery, so there's not going to be that much slippage, but I don't want there to be any type of slippage with this thing to just slide out of my hand at some point. You see I'm holding with two hands right now for balance. I guess that's what you call it. Not necessarily balance, but to keep it from slipping. Alright, essentially done shaving. Last thing I'm going to do, trim up the mustache. I'm just going to bring this straight down. Everything good. Wash off the face. Take a shower. Throw on this uh, aftershave lotion after I get out of the shower. Let you guys know what's up right after. See you then. Right now, people, so if you take a look at my apartment, you can see that the lighting has changed. It's dimmed out a bit. And you could just take a look at me and see that I'm wearing new clothes. My face looks different. It's about 10 hours later from the first part of the video that I made after I got done shaving. So I started shaving at around 12 p.m. today. And I went out to go get a haircut. And I've just returned from that. And now it's about 10 p.m. at night. So anyways, let me talk about this aftershave lotion Aveeno real quick. Uh, it's too difficult to give a proper assessment and review about it right now because I've only used this just once which was today but what I can say about it just from the one time that I used it is that yes I do like it a lot and I think I might come to like it a lot more than the Wellida that I've also reviewed on this channel that I've been using a lot before purchase of this so a little bit about the differences is that I can't explain this feels more like a lotion to me whereas this Wellida aftershave balm is a little bit more liquidy a little bit more liquidy than this is so with that being said this this feels a lot better uh, when I apply it to my hands and then you know rub my hands together and apply it to my face it feels I don't want to say lighter I'm gonna have to use it again before I could say that uh, the other good thing about it is that the smell or the lack thereof of a smell this is fragrance free meaning that you can use this and still use something like your like your cologne or now nah, you, you wouldn't do double aftershaves. It's either you're gonna use an aftershave lotion or you're gonna use like an aftershave type cologne. I wouldn't necessarily put this after putting this because I think I think there's some alcohol inside of here, some ethanol. And I think if you put this first and you put this second, this is just gonna rub off whatever you put on before it. So I would highly recommend not to do that. A good thing for you to do is to apply your alcohol to your face first or if you use an alum block to use that first and then use this second. So I'm really liking this a whole lot. I'm going to use it a whole lot more until when I feel comfortable enough to give a proper review on it. But just stay tuned for that. Alright guys, that's all for today. Haircut's done. The shave is done. All with the straight razor. If you guys can take a look, there's no hair left behind, really nice and smooth, mustache is trimmed up, everything was proper today. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. And until next time, keep it classy.